I just want you guys to see this ignorant piece of shit right here. Calls himself the pastor. And I'm, I'm sure my old lady would be good enough to put something down below to let you know exactly who this ignorant piece of pastor shit is. Pastor Greg Lock here. So I didn't want to just believe everything that I've heard in the news media the last 48 hours. So I walked right through the front doors of our local Target, went to the customer service desk, found the manager, and I asked... Can you please help me understand your new bathroom policy? To which she shrugged her shoulders and smirked, knowing no doubt this question was coming from others. And she said, and I quote, Well, basically, there's a new law that's been passed. And because of that law, it's our policy that you can now use the restroom that you self-identify with. To which I said, excuse me? She said, yes, because of the new law, you can now use the restroom that you self-identify with. I said, like, right now? She said, yes, sir. Whichever bathroom you self-identify with, you are welcome to go and use right now. To which I pushed the issue, and she said, well, let me give you the number to our corporate headquarters if you need further information. And no, Target, I need no further information to know that you have lost your ever-loving mind. Are you kidding me? Your political correctness has caused you to do something extraordinarily stupid. You know why? Because you're not targeting and being inclusive to transgender people by doing this. They make up 0.03% of the population. What you are targeting are perverts, pedophiles, people that are going to harm our children. Let me tell you something. Be blunt about it. Before I got saved by the grace of God, I used to smoke a lot of dope. But I've never been that stupid. Are you kidding me? Maybe you should smoke some more dope. Self-identify with. That has to be one of the most ridiculous moves I've ever heard of in my life. And I'm well aware of the fact that many other individuals, as well as businesses by and large, will probably take the same route because they think that they're being politically correct. But at the end of the day, they're being ignorantly, ignorantly naive. So guess what? Hashtag Target missed the mark because this was a very very dumb move I love how he uses the word ignorant over and over if you'd like me to play it again I mean, come on businesses by and large will probably he's retarded this is a pastor this is a pastor sitting there passing judgment ignorantly naive so guess what hashtag Target missed the mark because this was a very know this face. Dumb move. It's a very really good cheese eating face. But this is just so damn ignorant that everybody's got to get up in arms to sit there and, and worry about what damn bathroom to fucking use. I got a lot of friends that sit there and get kind of iffy and pissy about this shit. And if they do, then they're not my damn friends. They're really not. And I really don't care. But I got a lot of friends that are transgender and are in the gay community. And I take great offense to this shit. And quite frankly, I, I wish there would be more people. To get more up in arms than this. I, well, not really. No, because using the bathroom ain't that damn serious. You probably went to the bathroom with somebody that freaking, that was transgender. Please believe I want to use a hell of a lot more explicit, okay, freaking okay. vulgar, freaking phrases and stuff. But I'm not going to because I don't want to be as ignorant as the dumb, Christian-loving priest molesting people out there don't want to do that but i just did and so go fuck myself right well everyone's so well upset. if you want to know who's talking over here shit everyone's so upset because of the child molester thing and it's like well okay if you're going to be upset about people using the bathroom then we should ban ice cream drug drivers teachers that molest kids daycare workers that molest like, there's so many different people that molest children and it's like they're right in front of our eyes, but we're not going to stop that from happening. You know, we just got it. That's up to us to teach our kids, hey, this is what you do in this situation. Don't let nobody mess with you. Don't do this. We got to bring up our children into this world. And I don't think that changing bathroom rules is going to 
make molesters stop doing what they're doing or give them an advantage. I don't think that's I don't think that's what this is about. I think people are taking this whole thing to a whole other level, and it's just we're all running around like chickens with their head cut off, just afraid. Like we're all just it's just living out of fear, and it's making us turn on each other and act different towards each other and segregation and all that. And it's just. That's just messed up. I think this is all just, just idiotic in yeah. the goddamn first place. That people got to be scared of some shit that more than likely they've already dealt with in their fucking life. They just never seen it. Now it's just getting brought up and they don't like it. Exactly. Like if you're scared about someone messing with your kids, teach your kids to say, hey. You know, if your kid's too little for that, they shouldn't be in the bathroom by themselves anyway. If your kid's too little to defend themselves, they shouldn't be in the restroom by themselves. Period. A public restroom. Mm -hmm. Well, I just don't think that this is really... People are thinking, okay, we're afraid of molesters coming in, but people aren't realizing that you're making these transgender people, gay, lesbian people, whatever, you're making them... Like, you're, you're singling them out, and you're pushing this one group over here to this cliff... Like, you all stay over here because we're scared of what what door other people might walk through because of you. So we're going to put you all over here and have your own little section and you just all stay away from us. In reality, you're just putting a bigger target on their backs. Because if you give them their own restroom and the wrong redneck brother F sees them go into that restroom and say, Hey, they must be a transgender person. That's wrong. I'm, I think what scares most motherfuckers for real, especially motherfuckers that claim they're heterosexual, that... They've had their own little gay experiences in their own goddamn life, and they're fucking scared as shit of it, and they don't know how to handle it. So they sit there, and they fucking got to tag everybody of fucking being predators and fucking little... Oh, God, I don't even know how to say this shit. I just think most people that fucking think that this should be banned or, 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 or is a wrong thing to do... You guys have already been through your own little sexual experience and you didn't enjoy it or you didn't like it or whatever the deal is. Oh, man. I don't even know how to address this shit because I really don't. I don't know how to address this. I don't know how to fucking tell people what the fuck they're thinking because I don't know what the fuck it's these people are thinking. That, it's not no, that. no. This is just stupid. This is dumb. This is stupid. Seeing you're trying to talk to people and trying to put a message out because nobody else is fucking doing it. Nobody else gives a shit. Nobody else gives a fuck. That these people got to sit here and go to the goddamn bathroom and fucking sit there and maybe possibly get their ass whooped and fucking sit there and, and, and worry about, hey, this motherfucker's looking at me strange and shit. All of a sudden, this dude's going to come over and knock me in the head with a piece of shit urinal yeah, or exactly. whatever the fuck. People aren't thinking of that side. People are just seeing one path and they're scared. And uh, it's understandable, but you're you're not, you're missing the bigger deal. All the bigger, the bigger segregation issues going over everyone's head because they're afraid. They're afraid. Like, don't, don't be afraid. Like, we all need to come together. This world is getting, like, every day more hateful. And we're just being told on the media, be afraid, be afraid, be afraid. And we're all listening to the media, be afraid, and we're worrying. And we're, like, getting rid of these people because they're scary. And get rid of these people because they're scary. And they could bring in this, or they, this could happen. or All I got to say is, <laughs> listen, because this video needs to be too damn long and shit. It's already fucking eight minutes and 30 seconds long. Everybody out there that thinks that this restroom shit's fucking bogus, fucking hit us up, fucking let us know, just fucking get on the bandwagon with us because this is stupid. I mean, I want to I want to show you just one more time, and I wish I could get this motherfucker's name because he's so ignorant. So I didn't want to just believe. He's so ignorant. Mr. Redlock here. So I didn't want to just believe. Pastor. That I've heard in the news media Hold on. Forty-eight hours. Yeah, it's Pastor Greg Lock here. So Pastor Greg Lock here. Heard in the news media the last forty-eight hours. Pastor so Greg Lock here. Doors of our local Target. Went to the customer service Look this dumbass up and hate his ass. Fuck liking him. Fuck sharing him. Fuck all the dumb shit. Pastor Greg Lockyer. Fuck him, because he's got a bunch of other stuff about shooting fags and all kinds of other shit. There's a new law that's been passed, and because of that, please look him up. See that you can now use the restroom that you self identify with. To which I said, excuse me, Pastor Greg Lockyer. You can now use the restroom that you self-identify with. I said, like, right now? She said, yes, sir. Whichever bathroom you self-identify with, you are welcome to go and use right now. To which I push the issue 
And she said, well, let me give you the number to our corporate headquarters if you need further information. And no, Target, I need no further information to know that you have lost your ever-loving mind. Are you kidding me? Your political correctness has caused you to do something extraordinarily stupid. You know why? Because you're not targeting and being inclusive to transgender people by doing this. They make up 0.03% of the population. <laughs> oh, so they don't matter. Pet pedophiles. People that are going to harm our children. Let me tell you something. Be blunt about it. Before I got saved by the grace of God, I used to smoke a lot of dope. But I've never been that stupid. Are you kidding me? the bathroom that you self-identify with. That has to be one of the most ridiculous moves I've ever heard of in my life. He was probably butt-raped by a bunch of bitches while he was in the can, while he was a dope addict and shit, and that's why he hates a bunch of fucking fags. Well, you know what? I love fags, because fags gave me a job. Fags fucking helped me out through my life and shit, and I love queers. You know what? I don't give a damn what everybody thinks about me saying what the fuck I'm saying and shit, but I guarantee you guys, you'll fucking watch this shit and maybe fucking get a little bit of something from it. I love everybody. I don't hate anybody. I just wish everybody get the fuck off their bullshit and just get along. And this pastor fucking whoever the fuck done forgot his name. He ain't even important. What is it? I don't know what his name is. Christopher Lloyd? No, that was a guy from fucking Back to the Future. Uh, what are you doing, Marty? Whatever. Anyways, that's all I got to say. I'd like to hear some more comments from everybody else. And I wish my old lady get over here and stop this before I keep talking too damn long. But I love you all and thank you for listening. Goodbye.